Hey guys, here in one and I'm talking about a little bit of a weird issue right here. Now, for those of you who have PlayStation, you know that if you're in the West, right? The X button means usually like to press OK and the circle button means usually to go back or whatnot, right? But apparently in Japan, and I didn't know this, but apparently in Japan it's the opposite. The X button is to go back and stuff and circle button is to be OK. I'm not going to go over the whole reason, but basically it's because apparently in Japan, circle means OK or correct, while X means like no good or wrong apparently. I'm not going to go all the way into, you know, the history and what with that, but that's basically what it means. So it makes sense that they would have those buttons that way. But apparently, a Sony spokesperson, on, according to Kotaku's article, Famitsu and AV Watch are reporting that with the PS5 in Japan, the circle and X buttons will be the same as they are in the West, according to Kotaku's article. It's, they're, they're apparently going to bring the region into global uniformity with the international market. A Sony ex spokesperson explained that the decision was made to avoid different buttons, different button settings across countries as well as easing the burden for developers. Now, here's the thing. I think some people in Japan, they, they said, uh, seem pretty mad. And rightfully so, because you know what else? Remember how Japan with like, um, in general, they read the opposite the way that the West does. So their books and stuff are different. And nothing's wrong with that. Nothing's wrong with the X and circle being different either. And I, I could understand it. Imagine if they switched the X and circle on us. That would take some getting used to. You've been playing games for so long, and now all of a sudden, the X and circle are switched? I'm not saying that they don't have a good reason, because it does seem like, you know, that's their reason, you know, e easier burden for developers and stuff like that. That makes sense. I know we are kind of moving to the time of global uniformity when it comes to our consoles, because, I mean, remember how the PS4 and the Xbox One, them not being region locked was a big thing? And so we're kind of moving to the hole where they kind of want uniformity all around, I think. I think most of the consoles seem to want uniformity all around. But still, I think this is just one of those things. Like, now Japanese gamers will have to take a long time, I think, to get used to the new buttons. Because one thing about gaming in general, a lot of it is body memory. Just like sports and stuff, a lot of it is body memory. So you learn one way, now you have to unlearn one way and now learn a new way. I'm not saying that Sony is really in the wrong for this. But at the same time, it does make sense why some Japanese gamers are a little mad at this because now they have to completely basically change how they play. I mean, let's face it, there's going to probably be a lot of mistakes. Like when people buy those PS5s in Japan and they're going, they're going to be a lot of, I want to accept this. Oh no, oh no, I went back. No, 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 no. <laughs> we've all been there where we've pressed the wrong button and it's kind of caused us to either refuse or accept something that we really didn't want to or to, and it's kind of annoying so it makes sense the Japanese gamers are annoyed at this but what do you guys think about this do you guys think this is just more of the whole they're trying to bring everything kind of like all these consoles are just like one no matter where you play them in the world or do you think that Sony maybe shouldn't have done this at least shouldn't have sprung it so quickly on Jap Japanese gamers that yeah these two buttons are going to switch what they do let me know in the comments below thanks for watching like subscribe and God bless you all